graffiti to this day. Well, I'm Doyle, I run the director of the Melbourne Street Tours, the Blender Studios and uh, I'm an artist myself. People love street art, you know, there's a big difference between tagging and street art but and part of the problem is people confuse the two, they, they're definitely related. It's about making people think and stuff. And when this street, street art scene started, which was in about 2000, 2001, it was very political. It was when I I Iraq was being bombed, Afghanistan, 9-11, all these things were happening, that big tsunami. And so a lot of the stuff was very political and it was very, very good. You know, Melbourne's been voted the number one free tourist attraction, or the Melbourne Laneways has, in, in Australia by Lonely Planet. Because everyone that comes to Melbourne comes to the Blender, and so they all get to put something up. So we've got Black Lorat, we've got Watcha Vatu from Mexico, we've got Love Hate Love from Indonesia, we've got the hottest Singapore guys, Malaysia, like we've got Swoon, we've got Lister, the list goes on and on and on. It's, it's a real who's who, you know, all the other fresh boys. You know, if you get caught graphing these days, it's considered the same as, as, a, as a physical assault. You know, what would you rather? Would you rather get like your, your house painted on or your fence painted on or would you rather get fully beaten in the face? Again, you know, after being hijacked for, by pretense for so many years, street art's breaking down that barrier and here at The Blender that's what we try and capitalise on is, is bringing art to the people and, and, and really, you know, letting them enjoy it. Finally, Melbourne has hit cultural peak with something, you know, like we are totally sick at street art. Graffiti's here to stay.